Welcome back guys to another episode of the Fire Emblem 6 Remake Special Edition. So it's been quite some time since I uploaded a video on this playthrough but I uploaded a update video on it saying that it was gonna be returning this week and oh my god that update video blew up a bit. It got way more views than I expected it. Could be someone just pressing the F5 button, refreshing it, give it uh, uh, fake view so to say but there are 128 at the point of recording this video which kind of blows my mind especially if you look at the size of my channel only having about 93 94 subscribers I really am glad that people are excited for this play to, to continue and yeah so let's jump into it uh, I do want to say uh, a few things first off I have been attempting this chapter a few times already and I made changes from the last video. The main change being Shana becoming a Seraph Knight right now. Seraph Knights give them access to staves, her other pet is Falconite. Uh, Lilina became a Martianess which gave her access to access. She has access to all magic and she's S rank in... Um, Anima magic and she has access to the wolf bow So those are the changes that I'm pretty sure of that were made um, Fear in, in when this version gets released for the public fear ha is level 10 Because she already comes out with these kinds of stats and she came in at level I don't even know what level she came in probably like seven maybe eight and I think her personal also changed to Resolve instead of Wrath. Because I'm pretty sure she has Wrath. But no longer. It's now Resolve. So when HP is less than 50, gain 1.5 Strength Skill and Speed. I think among that, nothing else really changed. Skill-wise, all seems the same. You have Fiery Blood. You got Trample. Yeah, we gave her Trample. That's right. You have Thunderstorm, that's correct. Darting Stance, if foe initiate, you have increased speed. You still have your Charm, so plus two damage within two tiles. And that combined with Spur Speed can do some nice stuff. Killing Machine, Crit Boost, you know, like this is... Rutger is just a total beast. We have him with his Drive Speed, so that's plus four in four tiles. You still have your Adapt. You have your drive strength. You still have your or you have relief. He has blue flame, and then resolve. He has resourcefulness, so double the uh, effectiveness multiplier. Noah has gentle home, so Lou has miracle. <laughs> I think I played around with Lou, but end up dropping him. Maybe like I don't know. I'll just have to take a look at the um, things again. He has noble duty, so him... He's actually really strong. I just decided not to use him. Yeah, okay. We're not gonna go through everything like that. It's just for me a little refresh, because it's been a while. Um, other than that, I have been attempting this chapter a few times. This chapter is pretty rough. The rough part comes in at turn 4. We also changed the map up a bit. So first off, we place the bridge here. This will prevent, like you have three bridges here, three uh, ways to go. But in the end, you all funnel in into this one bridge, which we decided to change to put a bridge here so you can send the group down over here, make an e have an easier time dealing with this archer. He is able to proc a depth through the uh, uh, ballista. We removed the Ballista's bonuses because for some reason they were set to tiles. Hopefully we didn't break the Ballista. These groups may look scary. Which they are. Like they are really scary. But I have a way of dealing with them. And then at turn 4 a reinforcement wave spawns here. Turn 5 we get pirates. Turn 6 the reinforcement down south pops again. Then turn 7 we get another set of pirates. And then turn 8, we get the um, 
down south again and then turn nine we get another set of pirates and that's the end and that's where the difficult part comes in anyways let's get started and i'll show you what i mean like i already have somewhat of a plan on how i do this uh i'll put dorothy here but that really shouldn't matter rutger goes here with the killing edges equip you will see what i mean with this so this map changed up a little bit so i have to place things differently Yeah, I'll value that. Uh, put you there. I don't think that'll change much. She does have a uh, demoiselle. So mill allies with the two tiles take minus two damage. So that's track. Um, put you here. I'll put you there, you go right there. Yep, place her here. That's one thing I still kind of dislike about Kanto Plus, where it's just like, okay, here, have another move, even though you waited. Okay, oh, okay, that changes things a little bit, but not too big. Oh, they're all missing. They have no hit or something? There we go. He needs to get hit here. Because of this. So he has Vantage. So when he's below 50 HP. 50% 50 HP. He will always go first. And that's very important for the next step that comes up. This. He hits hard. 26 damage. <laughs> so yeah. All right, you still go for lands there, funny enough. Okay, um, how do I want to do this? I kind of want to give fear a kill here, so that's 16. That won't kill. Do you double with something new? I'll still just use the iron bow, because maybe a death prox. Nope. I said 16 people. Oh well, then we'll do it this way. I'm pretty sure support ends the turn, so I just rally. Allows fear to take this kill. Because I do want to promote fear. But because she comes in at uh, such a uh, level that I can't promote her, it's really difficult. You know what, I'll show you guys the uh, X animation. I really do like this animation. I really do like it. Okay, I need to make sure that I don't place anyone in that range. So you go there. You actually kill a double 15. You don't die afterwards, so let's do it. Well, there was a chance of a crit, but I generally don't play around crits. Reason I don't play around crits. At that point, I might as well just do nothing. Because every time there's a chance on a critical, it's like, uh, I'd rather not, because critical can happen. Then I may as well make no single move with <laughs> any other unit than my tankiest of units. And then I'll just fall behind. Okay, I'm gonna put you here. Gonna have that Iron Blade still equipped. You're gonna move down. And you are gonna move over here. Let's make sure that they're not in range. Yep. <clears throat> Need to double check that. Because this map has changed a little bit since my attempt. The map has been made a little bit wider. If I had a light magic tome on her, I could have taken this guy out already. But it will get taken out next turn. So the ballista can proc that. It's really, really 
uh, uh, not really rare, it's about 13% chance because adapt proc chance is uh, speed percentage. Oh, you move that way. Okay, this complicates things. This complicates things a lot. Okay, um... The reason I say this, I've had attempts where the archer moved this way. Into the range or uh, towards the ballista. But now the archer is here, so that means that I can't make the move I was wanting to make. The problem is this archer hits him hard and it has a chance of parking the depth, has a 12% chance but I have no way of dealing with the archer otherwise technically it shouldn't change anything it's just that that archer is gonna make it uh, quite annoying to deal with things Roy, okay, he's over there you know what? Why not just move Roy down? Oh shit, I should have rallied him. Oh well. Not sure if I could rally him though. Get a support level on those two. Let's try to keep fear out of range of things. You'll just move over here. I'm not worried for Ellen. Like, Ellen is one of the more powerful units in the game right now. Because she could be practically immortal so long as she doesn't get doubled. I'm taking a big risk here. Because I don't think I killed the Berserker. Yeah, I'm dead. Ah, that rally is so important here. I forgot the rally is so important. Alright guys, I'll meet you back once I'm back at this point. Hopefully the Archer actually moves a little bit more fortuitous for me next turn. But oh well. I'll see you back once I get to this point again. Alright, we're back. So, the Archer this time did move a little bit more fortuitous for me. I don't know why it was. Maybe because I moved Shana down here, which kind of taunted this guy to come this way. Regardless, I also had to pick up Fear here, because she was in a spot that wasn't really that great for me. Alright, first things first, we uh, go over here and we rally. And then we put him down there. So I think he needs to be in that spot to basically target everything. Yep. Um, okay, let's place you here. And let's try to give you as much damage as I possibly can. But first, let's deal with this. Um, I kind of want track to get those kills if possible. I want him to become a great knight. He's going to be really strong as that. Oh, I didn't actually go over the reason why I made Shana a Seraph Knight over a Falcon Knight. The reason is staff usage. Mobile flying staff usage. We have uh, Ellen here for a staff user, and we have Clarine here as a staff user. However, they're more of a support unit. Where Shana can be an offensive staff user in a way. Okay, I want you down.
there, so that will give him strength boost. Drive strength, because that's within two tiles, right? Yep, two spaces. One, two. The drop fear there. You go over here, because nobody should reach there. Alright, and move you over here, out of range of everything, so it's only really the mage. But I just want to make sure that nothing can reach them, so that everything that needs to go into Rotker, goes into Rotker. Like this, look at this. Killing edge, killing machine, crit boost, it's just asking for a murder machine. He deals with that so nicely. Here we get geese. And here's where the fun starts. So, the reason why this map uh, was so freaking difficult was all these reinforcements funnel into this here. Yes, you can block them off here, but this guy has a steel hand axe, it's not that bad. But this guy has a tomahawk and a silver axe. They also hit pretty damn hard. Like steel blade here, we have another iron blade here. This guy's a steel lance, this guy also a steel lance with a javelin. Like, they have range capabilities and they'll hit hard. Now, please for the love of God, don't screw me over. Can I hit you with a range? Not really. So, please for the love of God, don't screw me over. Thank you. This guy has a pretty decent crit chance and I've gotten crit by him a few times and trust me, it ain't fun. I'm losing Shauna here. Okay, uh, so we have Geese coming over. Hopefully he'll take a fortuitous path and I don't have to worry about nothing. Uh, you just move over there. General Big Shot, you go and hit this guy and not get hit back. Adapt? No adapt. She does have adapt. All archers get that. And it's a 17% chance of procking, which is decent. Like, Rutger gets into a position with this playstyle of, do I heal him or don't I heal him? He literally gets into that position, like, do I heal Rutger or don't? Because the boon you get out of not healing him is pretty neat. Okay, I can just move down freely. Alright, hit and move. You're moving down, there are the pirates. <laughs> Maybe I get a death proc. Or crit. <clears throat> Thank you. So these pirates, they have killer axes. They had hand axes before. However, Due to the fact that they were always Hentex, 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 Hentex. They're really hard to deal with on enemy phase. And with them having killer axes as well, it's... Like being stuck between a rock and a hard place at times. Um, You reach there, you don't. You don't, you do. Okay, I'm gonna put you here and have the sword equipped. I do want to give him a damage boost, but I think Lilina would be better for that. Not gonna give him a speed boost with her. You know, you just rescue him and just go over here so you can drop him off. 
I'll get fear this way as well. Uh, you keep on moving down over here. Okay, now the hard part or the tricky part because look at this. He gets hit hard. So I'm going to pull him back. You reach there, you don't. Do you reach there? No. So it's the hand axe that reach back here. I kind of want to put him over here, have a sword equipped and hope for the best. Uh, you're out of range, you're out of... Okay, Deke should be fine over there and... There's no way out that I can get Demoiselle over to there as well. So we just do this. I place you here. I'm kind of betting on the fact that Geese comes down towards me. That's why I have the sword equipped. And another wave. Originally the waves were every turn. Like the waves would overlap. So we had a pirate wave and that soldier wave at the same time. Can I just drop him right there? It doesn't give him any benefits or nothing. Rather in a spot they both can attack, so that would be this spot. Oh, I can't drop him there. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's a cliff. Why is that a cliff? Okay, that's a funny moment. Uh, guess we'll just wait an extra turn. I'll drop you here and hope they go there. In the meantime, I'm gonna see how I can deal with this shit show. Okay, Geese isn't here yet, so I can wait f with that. Um, also, we have Gonzalez over here that's coming our way. Okay, 32 or 36. Oh shit, I meant to back out. Oh well, we're in now. We're in deep. Rally with you so these guys can do something. Um, you don't kill that, but you do kill this. So let's get this out of the way. Uh, track, what can you do? You get destroyed here. Um, I have to kill four more. You don't die from that. But I don't get damage boost. So, what if I place you here? We destroy that with fire. Then you go over here. Now you have double 23, which means you kill this. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Double 14. Like, I don't have a guaranteed kill chance, but... You can do some damage there. I'm gonna do that. Soften you. That should hopefully allow you to kill. No, it doesn't. Any way to boost your damage without wasting anything. 
No, but can I... Okay, there's no way for you to do that right now. Like, this is one of those tricky situations where I want to try something, but... It's just not gonna work. Alright, you killed that. That's a lot of hit. Does the iron bow double? No. Okay, then I'll steal bow this guy. And get a critical. That's actually very, very nice. That's really good, that critical. One crit chance. I can heal her afterwards. And then I'd rather have you take this kill. Alright, HP skill, okay. Uh, let's see. Sorry, something came up on the uh, second screen. Had to double check what it was. Okay, I am somewhat screwed if I keep uh, a lens out, so I want a sword out. So we put you here. We trade, and we put the iron blade up front, and then we also heal Deke. Which gives us power step proc, which allows us to move again. Now, I'll get fear down, I'll let Rodka deal with the killer axes. And I think I'll just give a heal to track, get him to full, make sure there's nothing going on. And leave him there. And put you here. And you there for extra speed. Alright, you go down over here. Now for a harder part. Because we have Gonzalez to deal with. Or to contend with, I should say. And we have to deal with these. Preferably, I just put Borsh here. Or maybe here. And block off as much as I can. However, there is... Like, if I place him here. That'll be an okay block. But I need to block these guys off or kill them without having Gonzalez being able to do anything. Like I need a crit or an adapt proc with a steel bow. With an iron bow I need... Do I need actually an adapt proc? 14, 28, 42. No, even with a adapt proc it won't kill. It will kill if I do rally. I need the adept proc still though. But let's see how far we get. Nope. I don't want to place you there. That's a death sentence for you. Um... What I could do is block off this path. However, Gonzalez has a Devil Axe. 21 minus level percent chance to damage user. Huh. He also has Death Blow. So if he initiates his increased crit, he has Arm Drift, Capture. He does 40 damage. I have 27 defense. And if foe uh, initiates, I get this uh, 27. Yeah, that becomes 31. And I have a chance of negating all damage. So 
So I think doing this might be my best bet. Block him off like this. Gonzalez will attack Bors, but I highly doubt Gonzalez will be get uh, will get killed by Bors. I can put you here for some extra buffs. Then I need to block this off. However, I need to also make sure that okay they can't cross the river, so that's good. So by placing track here with an iron blade equipped, ooh, do I want steel sword equipped? Yes, I want the steel sword equipped so I don't get doubled by this guy. <laughs> and we wait. We don't do anything. We don't do any attacks. Nothing of the sort. We're gonna put Clarin here for speed. Then we put Saul for an additional speed. We don't put you there. That's a death sentence. However... Uh, move you to the side Move you over here And now we can attack this guy And eh, she doesn't double with the uh, steel bow Unfortunate, but oh well Oh, adapt proc Nice That's actually really good, the adapt proc We're betting on the fact that Boris doesn't get murderized by Gonzalez We're betting on that fact and then I'll put you here. So you ate Gonzalez. And I want to put you here for Demoiselle. On track. Uh, that is the physics staff that has something. Uh, I actually don't want to be hitting that. Um, I don't want to be hitting anything, really. Because if I do, I have a chance of actually opening it up. Which maybe allows another attack on track. Which is very, very bad. Because I think this is the Tomahawk, right? No, it's the Hentex. So I took out the Tomahawk. That's actually really good. Really, really good. Taking out the Tomahawk. Please move in a spot, Geese, that I can place Roy towards you. I'll run out of killer axes soon. Or killing edges. That was a youch. Ooh, I may have buffed him a bit too much. Okay, good. Good thing I decided not to attack. Okay, I want to recruit Gonzalez here. But for me to do that, I need to talk to him. But oh, doing that talk opens up a path to Lelina. Which is very, very annoying. Let me at least take care of you. I'll tell you, this is the closest I've gotten to finishing the map, so... And I can't talk to him. Okay, in that case. Alright, Geese. He comes in with the flowing axe. Geese's family axe, high crit rate, a silver axe and a master seal. And his stats are as followed. So, his base stats are 14 strength. 8 magic, 12 skill, 16 speed, 6 luck, 10 defense, 3 resistance and 5 movement. With growths of 50 strength, 20 magic, 65 skill, 55 speed, 45 luck, 30 defense, 15 resistance and 85 HP. He also has the personal skill heavy strike. Add weapon weight to crit chance. Then he has Capture, which captures an enemy after defeating it with reduced stats. And Deviant Crit, so when HP is 25 or lower, gains plus 30 critical. He comes in with a Master Seal, so that allows us to basically instantly promote him. 
I'm gonna do something very risky. Actually, if I... No, if I do this, equip the wolf power, we talk to Gonzalez, recruit him, move him out of there right away before I forget. He has a vulnerary, so let's use it. And then Gonzalez here comes in with the devil axe. So 21 minus level percentage to damage the user. So 21 minus level, so that is 11% right now. His stats are as followed. He has 20 strength, 10 magic, 9 skill, 16 speed, 16 lock, 9 defense, 2 resistance and 5 movement with gro the following growths. 85 uh, strength, 30 magic, 25 skill, 85 speed, 55 uh, lock, 15 defense, 5 resistance and 105 HP. Then with the personal skill, death blow, so plus 20 crit when initiating damage, he also has capture and he has arm strength, so lock percentage gens do not consume weapon durability. So he is really heavy hitting, uh, he isn't necessarily bulky, he's just junk, he's just junky. Okay, uh, how am I gonna do this? Okay, if I get an Adept proc, then I kill. If not, I have to use the Ballista. Nice. And now is to go on full healing modus. Okay, what's your speed? Uh, four... Wait, 14 plus three is 17. Okay, you double her. You won't double her, you will probably won't kill her, so... Let's use Ment on track so that he gets fully healed. Then we use... Uh, heal with... Actually, not yet. Uh, let's see... He came with a Master Seal, so let's see what he can do with it. So he can go Warrior or Berserker. I'm not going to use it quite yet, because I want to see what Gonzalez can do. As much as I want to do this, I probably should. No depth. Dang. And I can come in here to kill this, but... We have a little bit of trouble. Like, she is gonna get attacked by this guy most likely as well. That is very, very annoying. Like, it has 13 weight. Her con is 10, so she gets minus 3 speed. Which puts her at 13 speed. She's gonna get doubled. Okay, can I mitigate damage to her? Uh, Yeah, I can mitigate damage with him. That's within two spaces, right? Female allies within 2,000 minus 2 damage. Yeah. I think I should do that. Alternatively, I could mitigate damage with... Uh, actually, no. This is the right play. Putting him here. That will probably prevent track from doubling, which opens up paths. And I give a speed boost and a damage reduction to her as well. So now gets plus 4 speed and minus 2 damage taken. Uh, Rutger, yeah, I kind of should probably move you over here so you can deal with that guy. I don't know what to do for the rest. I think we just have to wait it out. I'll move you over here. Actually, no, I'll move you to the village. Uh, let's just top off uh, track. Just get him fully healed. And hope for the best. Lelina is in a little bit of a dangerous spot. But with the, hopefully with the minus 2 damage taken. And the speed boost. She won't get doubled and killed. Ooh, nice level. Okay, you don't double that. That's good. Okay, whew.
All right, um, I'm gonna do this. I will say this, if Gonzalez instantly promotes into something, I will rewind, because I don't want to promote him. But I want to see what his promotion options are. Warrior and Berserker. Okay, so he also has the Warrior Berserker promotion. And we visit. And we got a Sword Reaver. Alright, now to deal with this mess. Uh, I'm gonna go back one tile and attack this guy with magic. Then you go over here with an axe and wreak havoc. Or wreak havoc. Alright, um, do I get lucky? And get a adapt into a critical? No. Should have known that wouldn't happen. Uh, I do know that I need to heal track. Like there's no ifs or buts about that. Also, what I'm gonna do is attack with track here. Gonna keep the steel sword equipped. Nice. Oh, what do you learn? Desperation? Yeah, if lower than 50, double attack occur immediately. Double 19 is 38. That's just perfect. <laughs> I don't know how more perfect it can get than that. Um... You are in a little bit of an issue. Uh, which turn are we? Turn 9. Okay, so this was the last reinforcement. Oh, are we gonna make it? Knocking on wood, because, you know, don't want to change myself. Alright, heals uh, Lina with Saul. Then, I think we just end turn. Yes, it's turtling, but I'd rather play it safe than go crazy. Okay, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter either. Alright, we're good. We're good! Oh! Kill you. You guys don't even know how much of a relief this is. This map has been a pain in my ass for I don't know how long. You know what, Roy? Join the festivities. Although we still have to worry about this guy. So what do you have? You have hacks, so minus avoidance to all adjacent allies. And anatema, which minus avoid and dodge to all enemies. Oh, all adjacent enemies, not allies. And then minus avoid and dodge to all. So basically minus 30 avoid. And minus 15 dodge. And he has a Nosferatu. Alright. Crit you and kill you. Okay. Now the question is can you take a hit? You have 11 speed. You have 8 resistance. Alright. 11 speed so he doesn't double. But he does do 2, 6, 24 damage. Which I can take. Oh wow, didn't actually kill. Oh, whoa, if you please. Wait, what is my attack on that shaman? Oh, wait. Take him out of the equation. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that anymore. Then we go here. And you know what? We'll show Shana's sprite. This is her Seraph Knight sprite. Oh my god, that I'm actually here. It's just unbelievable. With how long I was stuck on this chapter. Well, we're not out of it yet. Rutger is still in a little bit of danger if he doesn't kill with the Brave Sword. 
I am in a little bit of a uh, pickle, so let's see. He has 26. Okay, you have 26 damage, so that is... Also, the weapon triangle plus 3 is 29, is 19... Yeah, you do nine. You take nineteen. You take nineteen. You take twenty. So, we good. I hope. If not, well, flufferoos. Okay, we can just move towards the big guy. Oh, this has been a. Uh, no avoidance. This is river, this is sea, but I can't enter sea tiles with him, so... Oh, this has been a long time coming. I want to see if I can give the kill to fear in any way, shape, or form. Alright, this guy. So, what are the skills that he has? So, he has the following skills. Sill speed. So, debuff the opponent's speed by 6 after combat. He has life taken. Restores 50 HP after attacking and defeating an enemy. Then he has hack, so does avoidance. He has vengeance. At half of the damage taken to the damage dealt. Skill percentage. Oh. Then Seal Resistance, and then Antima, which is more, uh, which is even less. So Scale Percent Activation, that's 13%. So how does this do? Double 13, double 15. I do need to keep in mind he can hit pretty hard, but I think you can cheese him with ranged, with bows. You made it all the way here, but I shall take your pathetic lives. What were you saying? <laughs> you were gonna take what? I'm ta I think I'm taking your pathetic life. I want to give it to Fear, but Fear's too far away. And I kinda wanna kill him right now. 99%. If a hit ain't one here, then I am pissed. Thank you. And now to get Roy the boy over there. Rescue. We made it. We made it. Let me double check the damage here. 26 plus 3 is 29. Uh, and then minus 10 is 19 times 2 is 38. We made it. We made it. <laughs> you guys don't know how happy this makes me. <laughs> I have been stuck on this chapter for so long that I actually decided to give up on it for a while and I come back now with a few changes here and there and oh we made it we got a worm slayer and that's it oh you guys don't know how m happy this makes me Anyways, with this all said and done, I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, do press that like button, of course. And I will definitely try to continue this. And oh my god, this makes me so happy that I'm finally through it. Anyways, again, with all this said and done, hope you guys enjoyed, and have a nice day.